the entry here, and we're just going to venture on down these steps. Central Satellites Building. Again, coming to you from this amazing location, Wentworth Military Academy. We are actually on the roof of the Sanford Barracks. It does not have 50 stars. Hello folks, Show Me Go Explore is out here today. We're looking at this gorgeous house that was built sometime, we're thinking around the late 1800s. We will look back and see if we can find an exact erect date for the, for the year itself. Um, but for right now, based on some of the other houses we've looked and some of the other places nearby on this property, that's what we're going with. That there is the house number, the, not the erect year. But well, currently this house sits across from the Boonville Correctional Center, which is directly behind me. And no, I cannot turn around to show that because we do not have permission to film the prison itself. But just know that within a few feet, that is what I'm standing in front of. And right now this is just going to be an exterior video of this gorgeous house right here. It has, it was lived in until a few years ago, unoccupied. So there have been people living in it, but it has since been abandoned and is currently up for sale, we were told. So we'd love to see someone take this house and kind of give it a little, little TLC maybe and clean it up and see it thrive again as a, as a homestead. But what I really like about this outside back here is just kind of this, the shape of how this house is. They just don't make them like they do. Now, nowadays you get those houses that are kind of just cut and paste. They're all similar. They might be slightly symmetrical or just mirrored, but these houses like this, it's just, there's so much character and so much story behind them. And obviously like that white part up there, you can tell was added on later versus when the house was first built. But again, that just only adds more, more character to it, more, more pizzazz in my opinion. So yeah, we'll just have a walk around real quick. Like I said, we're just kind of doing an exterior. I will show you quickly kind of how this goes down to the basement cellar area. You can see that just kind of wraps around down there to that door. And we will have, we do have permission to go inside too, but for right now, like I said, this is an exterior video. So I just kind of want to show you how all this is linked up. So we'll back up here. Now we're behind the house directly. Again, we have that addition up there, that white portion of the house. And like I said, I have to be, I have to be kind of mindful with my angles because like I said, this does sit directly across from, from the BCC. So yeah, again, again, you see how that, yeah, that white structure right there is it added on. Again, I don't have a year for when that particular part was added on, but you can tell. And then the way the windows are, are cut out, you can tell they've been changed over the years too. But it's about, it's a three-story house if you include the basement. So we have a basement level down here. And then there's another doorway. A lot of doorways to get in. I like that. A lot of entryways and such. And then our upper level. And like I said, we will, we will shoot a video of the inside. But right now we're just giving kind of a walk around for this unique little, little area. And yeah, this part's currently been boarded up. The little outside uh, walk around porch, a lot of the glass panels have been destroyed or kicked in or pushed um, either by the weather it's possible um, or just unfortunately possibly some vandals too. So you can see how some of those panels are missing there. But yeah, like I said, this is right there. Just kind of give a little bit. And I will real quick, actually I'll go ahead and have a look inside just of this front this front portion if I can if I can get in. 
squeeze myself through here. So yeah, we're now in the internal walk around. Like I said, it'd be kind of like the wraparound porch area. It's like an inside porch deck place that's built in. You can see there's the front door, which like I said, that, that one's actually bolted, so that won't be the way we're going in. But yeah, see how this, like I said, it's all sheltered. This would be perfect to sit out here, put a couple of chairs, maybe have a cup of coffee or tea, and just listen to the rain, especially on a day like today. It is kind of cloudy and overcast, so it'd be really neat. But like I said, you can see the window has been cut out, and I'm not going to lift my camera too much because, like I said, I don't have permission to film what's across the street. But you get the idea. So, yeah, it just like I said, just kind of wraps around back there to the end and just a nice little area well all right folks like i said that's the external video of this beautiful house we will be filming the internal next but until then i would you know subscribe to our youtube channel check us out on instagram facebook twitter uh yeah we're trying to get on all the social medias right now so just follow us show me go explore give us a like a subscribe a comment and until then We'll see you next time. Hello folks, Show Me Go Explorers here again. We're standing outside the house that's directly across from the Boonville Correctional Center. We're thinking this house, this structure was at one point known as the assistant superintendent home where they would have lived and stayed. And if that's the case, this building would have been built around 1931. Again, we will double check our facts to make sure that this is indeed the correct building on the property for that but right now we're gonna have a go look inside so come with us uh, my partner here open the door again never explore alone folks if you are going to do it always get permission first of all like we do but then when you do have that permission have someone go with you because you just never know well, let's go inside everybody and check it out here and see what all we can we can see so upon entry we have just this little little kind of entryway going on and like I said we're just if you're used to our videos and used to how we do things we're just gonna go room by room and just kind of show you one at a time what it is we're seeing here on camera obviously this would have been the the kitchen area we have lots of drawers and storage and stuff and this is some of the paint that's fallen from the ceiling area which I'll like I said yeah I'll pan up here and you can see kind of what's happening but this house it hasn't had anybody in it in a good while so technically it is an abandoned property but really for being abandoned there's not a whole lot needed to be done with it it seems you know because it needs some TLC some sweeping up maybe some repainting and stuff but it really is in pretty great shape for being especially a house being built in the 30s like this like this is and I love this room here, just, just how open this is. I mean, and these floors, oh my gosh, look at these wood floors. This is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And that's part of why I love that we get to do this and explore these places like this, is you just get to see things the way that, I mean, the 30s, that's, it's not too long ago. I mean, I wasn't alive then or anything, but that's definitely a tangible year for most folks. And... To just see something that was created then and and then at the same time preserved and, and still here and that's why we're doing this so that we can we can capture these places on film like this and save them before either before they're torn down and condemned or repurposed completely or like I said being in Missouri we get all kinds of weather right now is definitely our rain and tornado season coming up mixed with the flood season and this is a town very close to one of the major rivers so flooding happens often so we do definitely want to try to, to capture these places you know before any any sort of devastating issues would occur let's see now this would be the the front door right here it is bolted on the other side and it does take you directly to the outside wraparound porch so i'm not going to open that door right now but do know that we have been on the other side in another another video, but let's see. We have this beautiful look, the radiator still there. And we do, we have an upstairs and we will go upstairs, but like I said, I just 
I want to go this way for frame of reference. Again, like I said, this is just a, there's nothing there on that side. But this is where we walked in, was that door right there. So, right now we will take you down to the basement level. And again, there's another side door. Again, I'm not going to open that, but we'll see. Ooh, little box. Okay. I'm going to gently trace down these stairs. And again, you can just kind of see how the paint's kind of peeling off the walls. I'm sure with the humidity and things. And we're going to go right down here to this first little room. This part's carpeted. Looks like they did leave behind a bookshelf of sorts. But yeah, we're just going to go over. I don't know what exactly this room would have been used for, especially since it is a carpeted room in the basement. Maybe an extra bedroom or a study or something. It is nice and cool in here, so it'd be good if you're someone that's kind of warm-blooded or something and you needed a, a nice place. But yeah, you can see that's what's interesting too, is like the ceiling up there has got that finished work with that, that wood grain and then kind of like a drywall ceiling. So yeah, we'll walk around here and I'll go in. This would obviously be the boiler room. And again, obviously we are in the basement level of the home. But I just want to show me, look at this beast. This beautiful green beast. Clearly at one point it did take coal and has been converted to more electric type of boiler. But here, I'll go over here and have a look real quick at some of these little dials and things and companies. And maybe one of you folks watching can kind of give us an idea on how old this boiler is. We don't have, we couldn't find an exact date or anything. Um, we do have, let's see, there is the company name. And then down here, I can show you. We've got some serial numbers. And then in here, I don't know if you can kind of kind of read some of that. It has been painted over, you can tell. But yeah, there's that 228. So yeah, we just planned on taking some of this information and writing it down and then looking it up later, but check this out. Okay, so see, obviously there's the, the coal in the fire part, and there would be the fire part. Not turned on, obviously. And yeah, just kind of get a look in there. How cool. How warm, really. And then, yeah, this really neat. I just love seeing this old machinery like that. I mean, just the way they would have done things to keep the house warm. And it really is just a fascinating, fascinating bit of history. Yeah, we got a boarded up window down here. That was something, I don't know, but it's been bricked over. Well, that's what I'm saying. They just, there's just not. A lot of homes nowadays are just kind of like I said, it, as I call it, like cut and paste. You know, maybe flipped over, like kind of mirrored. And they just don't have this kind of this kind of character, this kind of integrity or design. Or let's see, we've got another door going to the outside there. Yeah, I'm not going to pry that one open, especially with all those cobwebs in the way. I'll just leave those be there. But, oh, and here's obviously where the some water would have been hooked up at one point, some pipes and things. But yeah, being, being built in the 30s, they've obviously had to do a lot to kind of update, um, update the facility and stuff with the water and heating and, and everything. I wonder if it does have central heating and air. A little storage closet here. This would be good for canning. Keep your pickles or your jams. Just gonna back out real quick. And yeah, over here we have a. Yeah, see that definitely looks like it's definitely a newer water heater compared to some of the other other things. There's some cob, a lot of cobwebs and spidery critters, arachnids, things like that. We have our switch box, fuse box right here. Again, just all the all the wiring, smoke detector. All right, so yeah, we're gonna walk through this little hallway area. Come around here. We're gonna look behind this door. We've got 
Yeah. See, it's just another another little storage area. I think it's under the stairs, so that's where it's kept. Yeah, this just kind of comes back out. But this is where we started after we came to the basement. We went right through here. So now we're going to turn around. We're going to go back up the stairs and get the view because we want to we want to see the upper level. So come with us. We're going to keep walking up these beautiful wooden steps. Pardon me if my breathing's heavy. I try to stay in shape for these sort of things, but you never know. All right, so we have our first room up here. Yeah, a little radiator window. There's the shed out there, the garage built on. Now this is that, that newer portion. Remember I told you that white portion of the house that was added on later? And yeah, it's just, it's, again, it's kind of like a little out deck, I guess you could say, where it's just, it's just a sheltered, sheltered piece on the outside. I mean, you can tell, because look, there's the wood over there, and then the brick of the house. And clearly what at one point would, would have been an external window, is now an internal window. And I wonder, oh, that won't open very far, but that would probably... Let in a lot of fresh air. Again, I'd probably want this room because <laughs> you could hear the rain and stuff whenever it was whenever it was thunderstorming, rainstorming, which we do get pretty good rain and thunderstorms here in good old Missouri. So yeah, that does lead to the bathroom, but I'll take you to the other side. Take you to the other side. Show you. Right now how it goes. Right now none of the lights and things work and the water and such. So but yeah, see how it's just like this quaint little little doorway cut out. <laughs> and then we go in here and we just have a simple little bathroom upstairs. Ooh. Wow, that's way up there. I would not want <laughs> just my luck, someone would put the towels up there and I'd have to get out of the tub and scale the <laughs> scale the storage unit <laughs> to get to it. Oh goodness. Do you imagine? Ooh, pretty little wallpaper. A mirror. All right. So yeah, that's that room. We'll just cut across here. We'll go to the next room. Again, just another big open room. I'm sure I sound kind of echoey right now with my voice. It's just a big open space. Check this out though. Look, there's a closet. You gotta step up. Isn't that pretty? I love the color of that wood. I don't know if that's if that's been, it might be all natural, maybe stained, but pretty much natural. It's just a beautiful, almost like a cherry wood or something, I would imagine. I'm not sure if we have like a carpenter or construction person, professional person who works with that kind of thing, they can maybe tell us. But yeah, we go in here in another, another room with another closet. And you can see that one connects to the closet on the other side, which we will check out. But... Right now, I just wanna, I just wanna kind of stand around here, and you can see here. Again, this is the side that's facing the, the prison, so I'm trying not to, trying not to film too much of that. We didn't want to get into trouble. We're very fortunate to be able to film this house in general and be allowed inside, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna break any rules. I'm stick to our word. Stick to what we said we would do. Be honorable. Again, yeah, I look at this, like the shape of this room and the way it, it turns around. And yes, that window has been boarded up. And then there's the closet from the other side, which if I can see, you can see right through there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right. Okay, well, I think that pretty much concludes this house. Like I said, we've taken you to the basement, the upper level, the downstairs level all the rooms on the side and then some so we want to thank everyone for watching subscribe to our youtube channel check our, our facebook page check us out on twitter we have instagram photos too we're starting to post on a regular basis share us like us comment on our videos so we can continue bringing you amazing amazing explorations and historical places all throughout the midwest and until next time folks 
thank you for watching.